hi guys it's very happy new year you're welcome to my youtube channel so today we do have a makeup tutorial and i'm going to use this uh, huda cosmetics eyeshadow palette it's my first time to try it out it's brand new so uh, let me do my brows first then we come back and dive into the shadows uh, so moving on to eyeshadow i like the fact that this palette has a mirror right here and all the shadows are labeled and there is a pink color here called elegant i'm going to begin with elegant and just put it in my crease it's a very light color so i can use it as a base and just work this within the crease it actually has quite some pigments so my brows didn't turn out perfectly, but it's okay. <laughs> I have had better brows, so it's one of those bad brow days, you know. So the pink looks good, actually. There is a color here called Flawless. I'm going to go in with Flawless and just apply it below the pink. Right about here. You can see this looks deeper definitely oh, do the same thing for this eye as well so it also has quite some pigments it sticks really well i'm definitely impressed <laughs> i didn't expect this kind of pigment you know yeah wow i'm here for it <laughs> I'm going to go in with a brown color called uh, Gorgeous. Uh, there is Gorgeous uh, right here. To give some sort of depth to our crease. So I'll work it right here. Uh, that is Gorgeous that I'm working. Well, Gorgeous is not as pigmented as these first two colors, you can tell. Yet it's a brown. I can still see a slight difference with the other eye that I've not yet worked on. So I think next time I'm going to begin with this brown as a, as a transition color by itself and I see how it works individually. Instead of placing it on top of the purples, I'm definitely going to do that in my next tutorial. I'm going to take uh, this I'm going to take this black black color it's called bold because i want to deepen my my crease a little bit more so i'm going to be careful how i apply it and uh, try to blend it in looks like we are headed for a smoky that i didn't intend to do because Gorgeous brown color disappointed me somehow. So. Ooh, I'm scared. Let me see how this works out. Let me blend this. Um, you know, black is a color to be careful with. While blending, it can either turn out nicely or it can be messy. You can either achieve a nice smoky or you can just mess up everything. So be careful here <laughs> I actually like this not too bad a smoky never goes wrong everyone looks good with a smoky eye so I could actually this could actually turn out nicely I don't know what you guys think but not too bad not too bad So I feel like putting a shimmer on top of this to spray my brush. Uh, there is one here called Rich. Look at that. Wow. This has quite some pigment as well. It looks really pretty. I love, love it. I'm just pretending like to cut my crease <laughs> with this shimmer. That's what I'm doing. 
look at that. I'm going to do the same for my eye, this eye as well. Cut, cut the crease. I must say the colors look richer than they actually look on camera because and there is a lot of light so everything looks quite light on camera but these colors are quite rich they are really rich really pigment the pigment is really really good i like it i like 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 it i'm quite impressed quite impressed this is my first time to try an eyeshadow by a kenyan brand or even African brand if I may say so. I'm quite impressed. Just going to go in with my brush again around here and blend a bit. I've not added any eyeshadow. So I'm going to apply my lashes and my eyeliner off camera and shall get right back and do the skin. I'm taking this Aremo London primer. It's matte. And I'm going to apply it all over my face. So I'm just going to apply into the skin. So it's a mattifying primer. And uh, I have an oily skin, so it is good for my skin. So that my makeup can set really well. I use this uh, black opal foundation. My shade is Nutmeg. I'm going to apply this on my face as well so I'm taking a brush and I'm going to get this all over the face so I must say it's a bit lighter than my skin tone but I'm going to contour so it's fine as well so I'm just using a, a sponge and I'm going to make sure this foundation spreads evenly all over my face so I'm blending it in with my beauty blender. My beauty blender is also damp. I washed it before I started to do my makeup so it's not dry. It's just damp, not wet, not wet either. So I'm going to contour first. I'll just take um this concealer is from Colourpop. The shade is deep dark 56. I'm going to use this to contour. I'll just use quite a bit of really. This is even a lot. I also want to contour my nose. I'm still going to use the same sponge and maybe a different side. I'm just going to blend this evenly around my forehead. Then I'll do the same around my cheekbone. But I've put quite a lot. A little goes a long way <laughs> with this liquid, liquid concealer. I have contoured before highlighting. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the right order. Normally I highlight before I contour. But I've contoured before highlighting. Let's see how it happens, how it comes out. This concealer is from Wet and Wild. It's quite a very light color. So I'm going to be very careful. Just going to put a few dots here under my eye, same here as well. I'm also going to put just that. I'm going to blend that. I use this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm just going to dust a bit of this under my eyes. So I'm going to do this, just set about here. So this powder is quite light. I don't use it all over my face. I only use this under the eyes because I want to brighten my under eye. Then I'm going to take a brown powder from Yardley. I've had this like for a thousand years already. It's literally almost empty. So this is quite my skin tone and I can use this all over my face. 
so I'm just going to apply this all over. Guys, uh, this is our final look. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I make sure I give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if it is your first time watching. I thank you for watching and continue watching. And if you've been watching as well, I keep it up. And um, I thank you. See you soon on my next video. Bye.